Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the pin error code 0x8028013 that you are experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. It reads that something went wrong and your pin isn't available. And then again, it'll say code 0x8028013. Click to set up your pin again. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I would suggest doing would be to go ahead and actually select the set up my pin or sign in option and see if there's an alternative option available. You actually have to set up your pin. So go ahead and follow those prompts that would be available to you on the screen. However, if you are looking to do another method here or try and check out how to reset your pin and type in settings, Best results, check back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select accounts. And then on the right side, you want to scroll down and select sign-in options underneath account settings. Where it says pin, Windows hello, go ahead and click on that. So you will need to have a password in order to actually set up the sign-in option. So I don't actually have a password on this machine, but you just go ahead and select set up at this point and just follow along with the on-screen prompts. If you do not have a password on your computer, you just can go underneath related links here and select password. And then in which case you could go ahead and actually add a Windows password to your computer, which I'm not gonna do in this tutorial because I don't wanna add a password to my computer, but you just would do that. And then you would go back up to the pin sign in option and just go ahead and select your appropriate pin that you wanted to set up. So that's one thing to take a look into. And then once that's done, hopefully it's resolved the issue. If you're still having a problem, you can try and boot into safe mode. So if you just open up the start menu and then select the power icon, you can do this from the login screen too if you're unable to sign into Windows perhaps or you just want to go through safe mode. And you want to hold down the shift key on your keyboard while selecting restart. So again, left click on the shift key, hold that down on your keyboard and then select restart and give it a moment here. And now you want to select the troubleshoot option on this page, select advanced options, and then select where it says startup settings, change Windows startup behavior, select restart. And now you want to tap the function key that corresponds to enable safe mode with networking. Technically, you could select the enable safe mode or safe mode with command prompt as well. So either F4, F5, or F6, at least in this current version of Windows, but you know, it could be different in your version, but that's the options we see on our screen right here. I'm going to tap the function 5 key. So again, it's just the F5 key on the top of your keyboard to launch safe mode with networking because you might want to go on the internet for some reason while you're in safe mode. Not that we're going to necessarily need that functionality for this tutorial, but you never know. So anyway, once we're into safe mode here, you want to go open up the search menu, type in File Explorer. Best result, should come back with File Explorer. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select this PC and then double click on your disk where Windows is installed. It should be your local disk in here. Double click on that. It should be a Windows folder. Double click on that. Go down to Service Profiles and double click on that folder. And it should be a local service folder in here. Double click on it. Double click on the app data folder. If you don't see any of these folders, by the way, you may have to just select the three dotted icon over here. This is see more. Select options and then the view tab. Make sure show hidden files, folders, and drives is selected here. So if you're unable to see any of these folders, you may have to come in here and just make that change. So now that we're, again, we're in the local service folder. Double click on app data. Same thing for local, double click on that. Should be a Microsoft folder, double click on that one in here too. And then there should be an NGC folder right here. Go ahead and either right click on it and delete it with the little trash bin icon or you can tap the delete key on your keyboard, whichever you prefer. And then you will have to go ahead and delete that folder. If you're unable to, you may have to right click on it and select properties, select advanced. Select security, 
select advanced, underneath owner, click on the change option, type in everyone into this object field in here, select check name, select OK, replace owner or subcontainer in objects, check mark that, and then select apply yes, OK, and then OK one more time. And now we should be able to delete this folder, which we can. And now we're just going to close out of here and actually restart our computer. And it should take us right into the normal Windows operating environment. So just go ahead and restart your device this time. You're not going to have to go back into that boot option screen. So just give it a second here. And there you go, guys. Hopefully your issue has been resolved at this point. Hopefully you can set a pin or delete a pin or whatever you were trying to have issues with before. Hopefully that has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.